Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we got a really beautiful, smoky, purpley type of look. I mean, it's just really, really bomb. And we got some fly, wet style hair. So if you're interested in this video and you want to see how I did all of this, just stick around and keep on watching. Okay. <laughs> Savannah, I'm going home. Savannah. Okay, welcome back to our regular scheduled program. Thank you for tuning in to SSS TV. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. So, uh, first we gotta plug the hair, okay? The hair is from Julia Hair. And um, I went through a bit of a struggle with this, just with how to style it, basically. There was nothing wrong with the hair. You see what I'm saying? So, y'all will see it. Okay, I'm gonna roll the clip. I'm gonna roll, like, the beginning of the clip right here. And then I'm gonna go into the actual styling of what I actually wanted to do. What I ended up doing, actually. So, I'm gonna just tell you real quick. The hair is Malay. Asian curly I got four bundles 226 124 a 20 inch and a 20 inch closure not a frontal this time okay so that's why I'm not I'm not gonna put it on I'm just gonna you know go right on into the makeup y'all gonna see why I'm not putting it on because right now she over the drip drying you know what I'm saying because we're gonna do a little wet wet look because this is one day curly curly hair you know what I'm saying at first I started off curling the hair and then I was like why am I doing this like this is this this type of hair is that summer wet look that everybody's trying to achieve so I was like you know what I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all how to do it so I I changed my mind after I finished doing, you know, what I was doing, and I was like, what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and roll that clip. Don't forget to check out Julia Hair and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna show you how I style it and all of that, all of that, all of that, all of that, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I look, I look, I look, I look, I look. <laughs> okay, so y'all go ahead and watch that, and then we're gonna come on back and do this makeup look. Alright. Okay, so I changed my mind. I want to go for the wet look, but instead of like, you know, just spraying it down with water I really really want the extreme wet look so I went ahead and I dipped the hair in some warm water and I brushed through it hold on okay I had to tie up the bag a little bit so it wasn't making too much noise in the audio and stuff okay so you're gonna hear it a little bit I do apologize for that but you guys get the gist so I went ahead and I completely doused the hair in water I dipped it I got it I put up a I put some conditioner in a bucket and some warm water and I just went through and I brushed out the hair now I'm not gonna do too much brushing right now because I really like how this looks I just want to make sure you know the tangles and stuff are out but I really, really want the wet look. You, you can tell by me brushing it out that it's starting to frizz out a little bit. So I don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and really spritz it down and put some mousse and some holding spray. And we're gonna set it aside and we're gonna jump into the makeup. And then we're gonna come back and put the wig on and style it. Because this is a closure, I am not too worried about, you know, like whatever, like putting it on, like gluing it down and stuff like that. So we're gonna do the makeup and then we're gonna come back and really wear the hair how I really want to wear it, okay? So let's just jump right on into styling and setting it and putting it aside, okay? So that is basically it. So I'm just gonna set her one side and make her basically drip some more and you know, just let out all of the water. By the time I put it on, it is not going to be 100% dry. It's gonna be a little bit, bit damp, but that's also gonna help with the wetness of the look. And while I wear it throughout the day, it should dry really, really nicely. So yeah, that's basically all I'm gonna do to this. Uh, yeah, don't forget to check out Julia Hair. The company is down below. All the information on this, all of that. You see what I'm saying? Really, really nice hair you know really really bomb let's go ahead and do this makeup we have we have the flag we have the flag back on the back <laughs> did you miss me yeah. okay so today's look is going to be a fun one look at this i got this palette from glam light and this is their 18 color paint palette and such a huge box too okay so i don't know if i'm going to be holding this up all throughout the tutorial or i'm just going to put a picture like how i usually do and then you know just show y'all the color but look at this isn't this cool this reminds me of um what's that guy's name uh not bob, bob saget what, what, what's his name not bob dylan what's his name the painter isn't it bob 
I know it's Bob something. Child, he got an afro. It's a white man, but I know I got he got a little bit of black in him. Don't worry about that. Okay, so uh, yeah, this reminds me of that. You know, this is so so pretty. You got the thumb thing, so you can put your you know you can hold it like a real painting palette. Really, really, really pretty. Let me take it out so y'all can really see. Huge packaging comes with a little brush and everything, but. We're gonna focus on this. Look at this, isn't this pretty? This is so pretty. And then you take this and you can just flip it back like that. And then it, okay, so you can hold it, child, and just paint your face. That's what it's all about. I really like this concept. And I got a code for y'all. The code is silver. Go ahead and um, get you some cha-chings off of that purchase. You see what I'm saying? If you decide to go over there by Glam Light and purchase. This is about time I start getting these codes, child. Okay? I've been doing this for a minute. Okay? These companies. Okay? I'm really excited about that little code. Outside here, it's all matte. All matte. And then in here, you have the shimmers, as you can tell. Okay? Bring it a little bit closer so you can see it. You know what I'm saying? I really like this. This is really pretty. So, a lot of things are calling me. I did green the other day, so I don't want to do green again. You know what I'm saying? So, let's do purple, okay? So, the base is on, and I use my, so you guys know, okay? I use my black opal in honey this time because it's a little bit lighter than tan. And I use number 40 by ColourPop to go under my brows, just so you know. <laughs> Clean it up so that is As simple as it may seem, we are going to go into purple, and that is the actual name of it. And it's that shade right here. It's called purple. And it really does look fuchsia. But this one beside it says it's fuchsia, and that just look like hot pink. So I'm I don't know. I ain't really good with colors anyway. You see what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never been good with colors. Y'all see it. And with that, I'm going to start to place that into my crease. And then I'm gonna use fuchsia to blend it out. You feel me? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Huda's Kunafa powder and I'm sure you guys already know the drill. We're gonna set the concealer on top because it's just gonna help with blending. It's gonna be, you know, it's just make blending a lot easier because you're gonna have that slip. Like right now it's really tacky, so it's gonna be a little gritty and it's gonna be like a little skippity dippity dip. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna feel it, feel stiff. You know what I'm saying? We want it to feel smooth, smooth, okay? Okay, so now that we have the purple place, let me tell you, I'm excited. I can I can feel today's gonna be a good makeup day as well, okay? Uh, we're gonna go into fuchsia. I'm really tempted to go into burgundy though. Burgundy is the shade down here. I think that'll look really, really good about, up top there too. But you know what, let's just go with fuchsia. And fuchsia is this one right here. Okay, so with that, we gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pack it on first and then go in and blur it out same way. Okay, so to really soften it up now, I'm going to go into Coral, and Coral is this shade right here. I'm gonna use a fluffier brush, and very light, Oh, that's pigmented. <laughs> okay. okay. We're gonna go over that really, really lightly and really blur it out, you know what I mean? Just make it look bomb. Okay, so now that we have those colors blended, we need to go in on work and, and work. <laughs> work on that purple a little bit, okay? So I blend it out over here. You can tell it looks a little bit more seamless compared to over here, where the purple still looks really sharp. So we're gonna go in and soften that up. And to do so, I'm gonna go in with the same purple, but with a lighter hand and just really, you know, make it really nice and fuzzy up inside there. You see what I'm saying? Chunky. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to go into violet, and violet is this shimmer purple right over here. And with that, I am going to swipe the lid without, I'm gonna like, y'all know how I am, okay? I'm gonna do a little swipe like I'm cutting the crease, but I'm not really cutting the crease as you can tell. I'm not in the mood today. And shimmer shades are really, really easy to, you know, really swipe and make it look like you did a cut crease. If you're gonna do matte, you have to go in and cut the crease, okay? But you can kind of fake it with shimmer. You feel me? I think it's the caffeine. How you drink your coffee, baby? <laughs> do you do it simple or do you do it bougie? Black coffee, I promise you, it's coffee. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. And my nerves ain't bad, child. Come on now. For my glitter, I'm gonna be using these glitters that I got from Beauty Bay. What is this called? I think it's just called Festival Face. It comes with like a bunch of glitters in it, so. <laughs> 
is perfect for me, okay? Because I hate having to separate and choose, okay? Just give me a set, all right? So I'm gonna be using the purple one, the deepest purple one in this. To stick these down, what, am I, what is we gonna do? Because these are chunky glitters, so I think I'm gonna be using my lash glue. So I'm probably just gonna go in with my clear lash glue and just swipe a bunch of it, like really in the center, not the whole entire thing. You know what I'm saying? We could do the whole entire thing, like just scatter it on, on, on the purple though. I think that'll look really, really cool. What do you think? What? <laughs> okay, let's do something. Okay, so I am trying not to look up. <laughs> I don't wanna look at you <laughs> or anybody else. I'm gonna look down because I know if I look up, it's just going to be a mess. So going in with the glitter now, let's go ahead and stick these on, honey, because I'm excited. Okay, I think I need to turn off the fan. <laughs> But it's gonna blow away. Now we're gonna go into Royal Blue, which is the shade right here. And with that, I am going to smudge that into my lower lash line. And <laughs> we're gonna fling on these lashes. And then we're gonna zoom out, cause we're gonna show out. You feel me? Okay, so. <laughs> We gonna, we gonna do the do. I like how the eyes look. How you, you like it? Let me know down below if you like it now, okay? If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it, okay? But if you don't like it, I can't help you. So I'm gonna go in with my Dewy Skin Cream by Tatcha, and I'm going to use a brush to apply this. And with this, you just need a little bit because I clean up under my eyes. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. I already applied some earlier, you know but we gonna do it again. And with this, I like to apply, you know, I just love a brush for everything, I don't know. And I'm also gonna do the eye cream. Like I said, I've been testing these things out, so I'm gonna stick to it and see what happens. <laughs> okay, get that eye cream up on the knee, that y'all, yes. Moisturize, hydrate, hold the fate. Okay. And for my primer today, I'm going to be using a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and with this, I'm also going to use a brush. Okay, so today for my creasing around my mouth, I always try to combat that because it naturally happens if I don't do anything about it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna be walking around here looking like an old lady and I ain't got no time for that, you know what I'm saying? You do your whole entire face and you looking flawless and you looking good and you go check the mirror, you got two lines right here. What is that? Okay, so today I'm gonna to be trying something new. This is the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. This is by Wet n Wild. And I'm just gonna try it, you know? Just to try something new, that's all. <laughs> okay, do the do come through. For my foundation today, I am going to be using Huda. I really do like this foundation, okay? Not only does it smell good, it's full coverage. It's a really smooth finish. It's really, really, really pretty, okay? Like, pretty. Okay, keeping it in the same family, I'm gonna go in with Peanut Butter by the same company. And I'm just going to apply it with a brush instead of the little thing. You know, she has this little thing to do. You know what I'm saying? But I found that a brush is just much better. Okay, I just, I just do. Okay, for my contour today, I'm going to be using Suede Mocha by Black Opal. Sort that situation. Oh, that's pretty. We're gonna go in and blend that out and I'm going to use a brush and just pat it in and smooth it out. And because this is a cream coverage concealer or foundation, I should say, it's a foundation stick, it's gonna blend really, really easy as you can tell. Like it's just, it's disappearing already. Go to today, honey. <laughs> So now that the contour is blended, you see how soft it is? It's not like too, too harsh, you know what I'm saying? Got a little bit more blending to do right here, but I'm gonna do that with after I do the concealer, okay? Don't judge me, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna go in and start to blend out my concealer and, you know, make it look right. Y'all already know. Okay, so today I want to try something new to set under my eyes. This is the Black Opal True Color Ultra Matte Foundation Powder. So I'm really excited to try this. Now, I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but it's just a tad bit more like yellow and toned down compared to, like this one is just a tad, a tinge darker compared to this one. Like it's more neutral and this is like a high yellow type of thing. So. I really wanna try this, I hope it <laughs> I hope it works out. Okay, and this shade is called Medium Light. It's not 
not bad, it's not bad. It ain't bad. Okay, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, and this one is in the shade Deep. Okay. How deep is your love, 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 love. Okay. So first I'm gonna pat it on, cause you don't wanna disturb the foundation underneath, okay? So you wanna pat it on, set the foundation first. Okay, that's why you pat. You don't go in and start you know something no, okay? Cause you might disturb it, you might put something away and then start revealing stuff. You see what I'm saying? Like you don't wanna be doing that. So you gotta pat it in and then go in and just lightly dust away the excess on top. That's it, okay? That's it. Get rid of all that excess powder that you just patted on there. <laughs> I like it. Ooh, today is going to be a day to remember. Okay, so to set that contour area and to bring it out some more, even though it's still there. Oh, child, I feel good today, honey. You see this face? Mm. Okay, so today I'm going to be trying out a new product. This is by Prime Beauty, and I do believe this is a black-owned company. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. They sent this to me, and this is their this is their bronzer, Bronzerville for brown girls. Child, somebody need to hire me. Okay. <laughs> And with this, I am just going to start to, honey, take all my money. Take it. Look at it. Look at that. Ooh, you know what? Somebody told me that, um, what is it, CoverGirl, that they brought back the, what do you call it, ebony bronzer. I'm trying to get it, but I can't find it nowhere to, to like ship it in here. You see what I'm saying? Look at his face, honey. Ooh. Yes. Look at, ooh, take all my money, honey. I am playing too much. I'm in here dancing, having a good time. I'm like excited, you see what I'm saying? Play that music. Okay, girl, better stop. Okay, so to contour my nose, we are going to, let's get it right today, NW45 by MAC. I love this color for contouring my nose because it's not as red as all the other stuff that I would use to contour my face, okay? It's very neutral, very, very neutral, and that's what you want for your nose. Don't go red, don't go dark red, don't do none of that, okay? Go neutral, okay? Get that situation. And little tip, you notice like right here, like my, you can see the concealer from my eyeshadow. This is when I go in and combat that and I always do it with my nose contour powder, okay? So you just go right up in there and it's just gonna soften it up and it's gonna go away, okay? You just brush it right back up in there. Get that whole situation. You see what I'm saying? Like it's gone. You see how soft it looks now? You see like how it's really harsh over here? Just go right up in there, swipe down. Do the do. That's why I always get up in here and brush it up. That's why you see me do that because I'm trying to get rid of that. You don't want that to look like that. You want it to look nice and soft. You know what I'm saying? Okay, for my blush today, honey, I am so excited. You see this face? Okay, we is improving on our skills, okay? I'm gonna be using this blush. This is called Baked Peach, and it's by Makeup Revolution. I'm telling you, ever since I discovered this brand, like, I'm just excited. Their stuff is just so affordable and exciting. Like, they do really exciting stuff. I gotta give it to them, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this in right here. Ooh. And I love me a good orangey type blush. I always gravitate to that type of stuff because it looks great on brown skin. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's no denying. Look at that. Oh! Can we talk about how, girl. <laughs> Who knows what you think about me? I shouldn't care I really tried my best But I can't make you happy And I can't stop time for you I don't know why we couldn't work this out Because you know I tried the best I could I don't know how or what I could have done better Baby, I really tried the best I could For 
my highlighter today as well. I am going to be trying out the Makeup Revolution Highlighter Trio, and this is called Supreme Highlighter in Gold. The set is gold, and it comes with three shimmering, beautiful stuff in it. Like, I'm telling you, this brand, and I think, what is, I, I can't even remember, but I wanna say it's probably like eight bucks for this. Really, really affordable, come on now. Okay, so the gold one has some like little glitter flecks in it, but the other two don't. They're just straight shimmer. I know you can't see that like from here or anything. All of them, they're just beautiful. And that white one, don't make that fool you. That's one of them ones like when it shifts, you probably can't see it. It has gold in it. I don't know what to do with myself. I think I'm gonna just go with the gold one in the middle, even though it has glitter. Maybe like when I, you know, dust on it, the glitter will kind of just go away. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna somebody call the squad can we talk about look at that do you see what I see aren't you not seeing what I see get the nose honey you know how it goes honey we get that funny honey get a little bit under the brow get the cupid bow there's that glitter you gotta tap it off so to spruce this up a little bit more I'm gonna go back in with the purple shade from the glam light palette and with that I'm just going to buff that right underneath that blue so it'll have some of that purple going on underneath there too you see what I'm saying do the do okay I brought you in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on here okay so for my tear duct color I am going to be going in with the MAC shadow dazzle liquid eyeshadow and it's kind of like the purpley blue one I don't know if you can tell and it's called diamond crumbles so with this I'm just going to you know touch in that inner corner right there from here I went ahead and I applied my mascara now I'm gonna go in and line my line line my lines <laughs> I'm gonna line my waterline with the melt eyeliner in mixtape and it's just a really dark purple color as you can tell so we got okay get that up in there for my lips today, I really like that melt combo, so I'm going to be using three out of their new liquid lipsticks. So first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and line my lips using BFF3 by ColourPop. Next, I'm gonna go in with Ginger. Y'all remember Ginger from last time, right? Well, she's a beauty, okay? Look at her. She is pretty. Mm. And she smells good. They all smell good. I'm gonna make that dry before we move on. <laughs> okay, now that she's somewhat dry, I'm going to go in with Fawn. And Fawn is just this like grayish taupey type of color. And in the center of this, I'm gonna go in with Golden. Y'all remember Golden from last time, okay? She also pretty. Today, I'm definitely gonna go with a gloss, and I'm going to be using the gloss topper. This is the Holographic Gloss Topper by LA Girl, and this one is called Magical, okay? Just basically the pink tube, okay? Mm, I can't, I cannot, I cannot. Okay, look at that, ooh. And to set everything in place, my hot spring essence water. How we looking today? Did I do something today? Y'all let me. Okay, know. guys. <laughs> I am feeling everything today. Everything is just on point. Okay. On pizzoint. <laughs> okay. My hair is stiffer than white people dancing, child. Come on now. Okay, so that is it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do love how this came out. This is just very summery and beautiful, and it's just a lot of things that I'm really, really feeling it. Like, okay, we doing zone to line. We doing zone thing type of feeling. I am having. Okay, make sure that you check out Glam. It didn't break, y'all. It did not break. We good, okay? Make sure you check out Glam Light and use my code SILVER with a Y, okay? <laughs> Make sure you check out Julia Hair for their bomb, curly, Malaysian deep curly hair. Very, very pretty. I am absolutely loving this as well. This is my second curly hair that I have. I think back to back I'm doing curly hair. It's really, really nice. Don't worry, I'm gonna give y'all some straight body wave the next video. You see what I'm saying? Get into that real glam, glam type of wham, bam, type of thank you, ma'am type of video. You see? 
child. You better come on and get with somebody. Okay, make sure that you are following me on all of my social media platforms, which is Instagram, Snapchat, everything is under Savannah Silver. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below because I love to hear from you guys. If it is your first time here and you like this video and you like the vibe that's going on inside of here, join us. We are a happy bunch, so go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell while you're at it. Okay, do the do. Next, uh, share the video because sharing is caring, okay? And until the next video, I will see you guys really, really soon on the next one. <laughs>